is the swim team in the building? I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad. Now, first off, swim team, I know I look crazy. You know what I'm saying? I need to do something about my hair. I need to do something about my face. I don't got the words for how I look. But I felt as though I needed to upload this video today because I haven't uploaded in two days. When I did make a promise that I was going to start uploading every day, two to three times a day, and I was going to go out here and get it and get these watch time minutes up. You capped out. You capped out. Oh, everything I love, you fucking capped out. My <sighs> but something happened. If you've been on my channel, I'd say about a year ago, I posted a video where my son got bitten by an animal <laughs> and his face swelled up. More specifically, my son got bitten by a mosquito and his face swelled up. Since the quarantine, that hasn't happened. So we thought that, you know, it was something that he was going through when he was a baby. And now that he's a little toddler, which is still a baby, you know what I'm saying? But now that he's a little older, he's grown out of it. We started taking him out on the balcony, started taking him outside. And I would say for the past week, mosquitoes has been eating his ass up. They, they have been eating his ass up. And it's, it's just horrible, man. Like, I honestly, you know, I love my son. Like, I love my son to death. So seeing him struggling like that, seeing his skin just, like it's like they bite him and his skin swell up and then it creates these like, these really bad looking sores. So he has a whole bunch in his hands. He have a whole bunch on his feet, you know, his right foot, his left foot, up his legs. He has a whole bunch of mosquito bites. And the worst ones are, it's one on the side of his cheek and it's one on his forehead. Now he's a toddler, so those bites, they itch and the ones on his face is like they're not healing up because he keeps scratching them when i come home i should be recording and i should be coming up with video ideas but i'm still like i have to pay attention to him and i'm trying to keep him from scratching it so he can heal up and that's that's pretty much all i've been dealing with man you know i hope it's something that as he gets older it's gonna get better, but the more I'm reading about it, the more it seems as though it's something that's just gonna stick around. I remember when I was younger, my aunt said I had very bad skin, but now I think that's what the problem was. So I think I grew out of it. In Grenada, we had something called sand flies. Sand flies are not mosquito, but what they are were like gnats that bit. Like, right now, y'all have fruit flies and gnats, and they just come in your face. I think gnats are like the... Pause. Whoa. Pause. Woo. That one slipped out. But gnats... <laughs> I'm sorry. Gnats are like the most gangsterous flies I've ever came across. Gnats are the most gangsterous flies I've ever came across. Like, have you ever been walking, and a gnat is by your face? And you slap it away and it just come back by your face. You slap it away and it come back by your face. To the point where you just have to be like, alright. Alright, man. You got it. You got it. Sand flies don't do that. Sand flies find a spot in your skin. They, they, they literally suck the blood out of you. You feel me? And they attack you. Like, they jump you. Mosquitoes might come at you like one, two at a time. Sand flies coming at you 30 deep. You feel me? 15 deep. You, you might feel some something biting on your hand, on your on your, your neck, on your leg. They they come at you. So that's what we had in Grenada. And I think when I was a baby, I used to get bitten by sand flies and my skin just used to look really nasty. My aunt still make fun of me for having like nasty skin as a baby. And that's what my son is going through right now. And you know, I'm just trying to be there for him and we still gonna shoot content. Like I wanted to take him to the park and shoot a like shoot a little video with him and stuff like that. But you know, the content is still gonna come. I just gotta figure out a way to um to deal with this, man. You know, I, it's my it's my firstborn, bro. I, I don't I don't like to see my my firstborn going through it. So I hope you know y'all understand what's going on, and we here squad.